In this session, we are going to discuss one GET problem on file system. This particular question came in the year 2014. Okay, now a FAT, we know the full form that is a file allocation table. A FAT based file system is being used and the total overhead of each entry in the FAT is 4 bytes. So, FAT entry will take 4 bytes. Okay, let me write the details here. So, FAT entry will be 4 bytes. Okay, now given a 100 into 10 to the power of 6 bytes disk space on which the file system is stored and data block size is 10 to the power of 3 bytes. So, that is the data block size. 10 to the power of 3 bytes. The maximum size of a file that can be stored on this disk in units of 10 to the power of 6 bytes will be options are given. So, this is the question. Let me answer them in my own way. So, I am writing everything. What I am going to discuss, I am writing everything on the board so, so that you can take the note. All the data block must have an entry in the fat region. So, that is one of the mandatory conditions. Okay. So, the total number of entries in the FAT will be disk capacity by block size. Disk capacity by block size. So, disk capacity they have told it is it will be 100 megabytes and the block size we had that one that is a 1 KB that is a block size. So, this number of entries must be there in the FAT and for each and every entry what is the overhead 4 bytes. Okay. So, So, the space occupied by the respective FAT will be this number of entries maximum in the FAT and 4 byte will be for each and every entry. So, 0.4 megabyte will be the total FAT region. So, remaining portion we can allocate to a file and here I shall consider a single file so that I can tell you what is the maximum size this particular file can have. Okay, so I am writing the respective calculations. Okay. Each entry takes 4 bytes as overhead. So, space occupied will be 100k into 4 bytes. So, that is a 400k is equal to 0.4 MB. We have to give space to overheads on the same file system and at the rest available space we can store our data that is a file body. We assume that we shall use all remaining available space to store a single file so that I can give you the maximum file size in our calculation. So, now let us calculate the file size. So, in this way so maximum file size possible is equal to total file system size that is 100 MB given minus the overhead and we have calculated this overhead as 0.4 MB. So, if you go on subtracting it, I am getting 99.6 MB. So, that is the maximum file size possible in this particular file system and I think there will be 99.6 will be this one. So, in this way you can calculate this particular answer and this is a very common type of questions on the FAT related uh, file systems. So, where the FAT will be there, file allocation table will be there, entries in the FAT, block size will be given as they were given in this problem also and you should have to calculate the maximum file size or some other parameters. So, I think you got the logic, I did the calculation in details, I have written every text on the board so, so that you can easily understand and thanks for watching this video.